He is influential, but he is not an influence. He is powerful, but he is not a power. He does blow like a wind, but he is not a wind. He is a person. We are talking about a person tonight. That's why in other passages in John's Gospel, Jesus gives names to the Holy Spirit. He calls him the Comforter, or in some translations, the Helper. You don't give names of that sort to winds and to influences and to forces and to powers. And throughout the New Testament we read that he does what only people can do. Romans 8 tells us that the Holy Spirit intercedes. He speaks to God for us. Can a power intercede? Ephesians chapter 4 tells us that the Holy Spirit can be grieved or saddened. Which brings us to our next point. The Holy Spirit is called God. He is God and he's called God. He has the attributes of God. You can say things about the Holy Spirit which you can only say about God. So Paul says, writing to the Corinthians, that the Holy Spirit knows everything. But only God knows everything. And in Hebrews chapter 9, the Holy Spirit is called the Eternal Spirit. But only God is eternal. So we are talking about one spirit who is a person who is actually God. He does the works of God. In Psalm 104 we're told that the Holy Spirit created. In Romans 8 we're told that the Holy Spirit raises the dead. These are things which only God can do and has done. 